Hello again. We are back in Moria after our successful previous run. Back down here looking to kill some shit. Gotta remember we got our create food spell. Gotta remember there was a ghost somewhere to our southeast as I recall. That's about it. Oh yeah, we're forcing this door. I forgot about that. And off we go. I'll probably get a few play sessions in today. I've got a got an audition this afternoon, but other than that, my day is free. So, oops, door burst open. I'll probably play a few a few rounds today, which I like. Arg! Oh, let's try and kill it quickly. Okay, that was probably a bit. Um, Foolish, I should have protected myself from evil or something. Although I don't know if protection from evil will keep you from being hit with the acid from them. It does seem to work with the brigands. Stealing from these would probably would work with the, the acidic uh, nagas as well. The green nagas. Another umber hulk. Our previous character's nemesis. Trap way back there, which may indicate I didn't check properly before. Rest. Oh, a tick coming. Rest again. Another tick coming. <laughs> Poisoned. Let's back off just in case that Umber Hulk takes it into his head that hey, I should attack that dude. All right, now we've rested. Now, when we finally meet that Umber Hulk, we'll be ready to. Protect ourselves from evil. I look forward to it, sir. Where are you? And I forget. Are these the? Uh, can these ones weaken you? Is that right? Yep. I can't protect myself from evil from them, so there's not much I can do other than hack at it. But this guy I can protect myself for, from. Let's back off one square anyway, just to fill in this hallway. Because if something else had wandered up, we could have been attacked by two creatures. So here we are. Let's cast Protection from Evil. PCE, that is. I lost my concentration. That was my fear. I feel confused. He's hitting me. He's hitting me. Not much I can do other than uh, attack it, even though... You'll see, I did. I swung to the west, and it moved me to the west, so I attacked it. One thing I seem to have noted in this game, and I'm not 100% sure of this yet. When you are confused, if you move, you move in a random direction. That is true. But it feels to me like if you move and it it's random direction that it chooses for you is in a wall, say. It doesn't count that as a move. Like it just uh, it lets you press another key. It doesn't do anything, um, which I think is a mistake. It should uh, it should let you do nothing because in this case, basically, I have a 50% chance of successfully attacking him to the west, 50% chance of accidentally moving to the east. As far as I can tell, that seems to be the. There you go, the east. See, like I pressed west there and nothing happened, which I assume means it moved me in one of the walls, and it therefore said nothing happened there. I pressed a key again, pressed a key, moving me east. If I move east, he just chases me, so nothing happens. So to be honest, being confused in this hallway is not that dangerous. Either I attack him successfully, or, you know, I can miss, I guess, but I, either I attack him or I, uh, or I back off. So there are worse fates. Nonetheless, as soon as we are unconfused, I will uh, try and portal out of here because, you know, I, I want to get protection from evil to fight this guy. I'm a bit, still a bit scared of them. He killed one of my characters. He killed my best previous character. He almost killed, an Umber Hulk almost killed this character an episode or two ago. Even though they're from 800 feet, they're, you know, a, a weaker monster than we should be facing now. They frighten me. All right, it's dead. Okay. I think. Okay, it's dead. Let's pass our turn while we're confused. Okay, it's back. Whoops, I didn't mean it. I'm ah! dropping my keypad and therefore spamming all the keys at once with my palm. All right, we rested. We're okay. Those things are still a, a threat, though. we got to be a little cautious around the Umber Hulks. What are you? Probably a large gray snake? No, copperhead snake. I know they can poison us. Curious about what they're worth. So they're a much weaker creature. Missed it. Hit it. Killed it. Let's light up the room. Light up the room with a smile like Mary Tyler Moore. There, I tipped my hand at my age, didn't I? 
And that is all to some of the references I make. I, uh, I was alive when Mary Tyler Moore was in reruns, and I watched it, maybe even when it was in syndication, I don't know, but if so, it was at the tail end of it when I was a child. What do we got over here? Mithril, that's good value. White jelly, what do we know about that? Killed 21 of them, they're from a much lower... Bah. You ain't nothing to concern myself with. Dead. Ooh, nice. Enchant weapon to damn. Let's read that right away before somebody steals it. Bastard sword fails. Fuck you. That's two in a row of those that have failed. What was the uh, message we were getting there? Light is growing faint. Let's refill our lamp. Done and done. E. Lost my concentration. Alright, there's an amulet up there. Amulet of searching. Those are worth a good bit of money. I don't need to keep it for myself because my PAG spell and PAF spell do all the searching I need. It's just overkill to try anything else. Are we uh, in a new map yet? Here we are. New screen, I mean couple of skeletons ahead. Oops, there they come. What are we facing? Skeleton orc. I don't need to protect, to protect myself from evil from them. They're not uh, and a skeleton human. Just not a, not a terrible threat. We can kill those things off readily. Let's just rest. And continue on our merry way. Giant brown scorpion. Let's pause and let it come back to us. Um, we've fought these before. I just want to see again what we know about it. It's nice to see the, the knowledge banks fill up here. Worth a good amount of money. You can bite to attack. It doesn't say anything about stinging to, uh, to poison, but I could swear I've seen it sting before and didn't poison it, so maybe I'm misremembering. It might only have one bite and not poison at all. Those are a good bit of uh, experience for something that doesn't feel that threatening. So let's let's hope we meet a lot of giant brown scorpions. Not a sentence you would typically say as you descend into a cave system below the ground, but let's hope we meet a lot of giant brown scorpions. Whoops! He can get our food. He's not really a threat, but let's uh, like I'm not. Oh, fuck you. Not worried about um, him stealing my food. Eh, stop losing your concentration. I am getting hungry. Let's read that scroll of... of mush. The scroll of mush. Something rolled beneath my feet. I picked it up. Let's eat it. And now let's rest again. That's PCB. Are you kidding me? Rest. Try one last time if it's a... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just walk in and hack at it. The worst comes to worst, it's going to steal one or two of my foods. It may not even get a chance to do so. And here I am wasting time, getting hungry, casting spells, trying to kill it. Rot jelly is not that big a threat, as long as you have enough food. If you haven't got food, or if you've got very little food, then it is a, a very drastic threat. Especially if you also have no words of recall and you're down deep. Then you're in big trouble. Although we have the create food spell, so even that is not the uh, on the end of the world. Just go sit in a corner and summon bowls of porridge to ourselves, like a Quaker Oats factory. I'm not uh, casting my detection spells. Zombie over there. No traps. No secret doors or stairs, other than those we've already detected. Let's go kill the zombie. Giant gnat. Uh oh. Giant nab bites you. I don't see it. There it is. Maybe they move fast. I hate these guys. They breed so fast. But getting them under control is almost impossible. Especially if you meet them in a darkened, like, double hallway like this. They've got plenty of space to breed. And I can't even cast light to be sure where they're at. I think we may, uh... Maybe just have to concede this. Wait, wait, you know what we can do? Let's do this. 
Yeah, screw you. I know you've bitten me. I'm going to do a PCB to the south. This could envelop... Ah, oh, fuck. It could have enveloped a bunch of creatures. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, uh, I know you're there. Uh, I hate fighting them just because you got to press more, like, constantly. Fuck off. P. B. B. To portal away. I don't want to deal with them. I hate those things. They're worth next to nothing. And they are a serious problem. Let's head east instead. East and south. I'm going to cast PAA over here because... Uh, whoops. Good. I thought those were the gnats. Giant houseflies can't replicate. Not all Fs. Not all capital Fs can replicate. There is a ghost back there. Let's head a bit towards it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going to cast Protection from Evil right now. Alright, it worked. And hope that it comes over and attacks me fast before my spell wears off. It was here. P-A-A. -A. It's down south now. P-A-A. -A. Now it's way over there. God damn it. My spell's going to wear off. Let's get out of here. Let's go up here and rest. And then we'll try this again. I know I no longer feel safe from evil. That's why I ran. The real world player is getting hungry, actually. I'll have to grab some breakfast after this. Starting to feel it. P-A-A. -A. It's right there. P-C-E. I am protected from evil. Come at me, yo. It is repelled, so it attacked me. Not from the south. P-A-A. -A. Now it's way the fuck up there. Just come face me like a man. Like a man ghost. Fuck you. I think the uh, spell is going to wear off soon again. And I'm going to be left naked trying to fight this thing. It's right to my southwest, at least it was. And it attacked me. It said it's repelled, so it must still be to the southwest. But no, it's not. It can move a very fast. Oh, I killed it. I went west and got it. Random flailing for the win. Let's rest. Alright, that's fine. The spell does last a, a fair while as well. That's, uh, that is a great spell. Again, I can't uh, overemphasize how powered that spell, powerful that spell feels. Even OP. I mean, it only works on some monsters, admittedly, but it works on a lot of monsters. OP being overpowered, if I, if I have my gaming lingo right. I may not. But that's what it means to me. I didn't mean to cast light. I meant to cast detect traps and detect doors. And detect a good chance to sleep. That mush doesn't last long. Let's eat some rations. Rest. That fine grade mush is still no no substitute for rations, but better than nothing. I guess it is a definitive substitute for rations, it's just a an inferior substitute. You fell it to a pit. Well, that answers that question. But I, I said before, I'm pretty sure falling in a pit will do damage, but not drop us to the next level. That is the case. We took like nine damage. It's not that big a deal. If if the pits don't get more nasty than they are, then I have trouble discerning why anyone would wear a ring of feather falling. I haven't yet seen a, a reason you'd be, you know, terribly fearful of falling. It doesn't seem to do much damage. All right, P A A, ghost. That's the ghost we saw first that we fled from. And unknown, orc shaman. Maybe I don't fucking know. P A F, P A F again. P A G, rest. All right, let's head a bit towards it. We're gonna detect evil on a somewhat a semi-regular basis. Whoa, what do we got here? 
Red jelly, they can drain our strength. Let's get away from that by going northeast. And I don't know what the other thing is, but either way, we're going northeast. You have a quartz ring. Jackfruit fly. Good. PAA. Ghost isn't coming at me, is it? Nope. That means I can stand back and PCB this jelly. Rest. Here comes the orc. Or whatever it is. Oops, I didn't mean to go that way. Whoops, yeah, I don't mean to do that either. An Urukai. That is a new creature. Hmm. I would like to protect myself from evil to deal with it, uh, but I don't have the mana. And I'm not going past that jelly to the west until I've uh, zapped it out of existence because I'm afraid of it. All right, I'm just going to stand here and let the orc, the Urukai, come to me. I don't want to go east, because I don't want to alert that ghost and face multiple enemies at once. If worse comes to worse, we do have the portal spell to get out of here, or a phase door scroll. I'm missing it a lot. It's definitely hitting me. Okay, it's dead. It's not that big a deal, but at least we learned about a new monster. Let's rest again, get our health and spell points back. PCB West. Do a quick detect evil. That thing's still up there. We're fine. Rest. PCB. Whoops. Fuck. Rest. PCB. West. Rest. PCB. West. Dead. Let's rest again. Okay. Grab this all pike. Alright, that thing is still up there. We can... Cast Protection from Evil soon. I will soon. Certainly if I get any notification of being attacked, I will, but let's see if it's moving. Still up there. Interesting. Okay, we're moving towards it now. It's PAA again. Still where it was. I'm going to PCE right now. Okay, we are protected from evil. Let's charge headlong up towards it and hope it attacks us. Got it. Didn't even get our swing off. If uh, here's that ring of feather falling, as I said, I'm not sure the, not sure the value of that. If uh, if enemies is, are as weak as they seem, did another protection or uh, rather detect evil and saw a letter Q over here. I don't know what that would be. I've never encountered a letter Q in this game. In Rogue, the original Rogue, that might have been a Quagga. Maybe there's there's a game, possibly Rogue or possibly a derivative of Rogue that has the Q for Quagga. I'm not entirely sure what a quagga is. If I remember correctly, I've seen it in some games where it's got a sort of horse-shaped look. I want to find out what that is. We want to get the uh, A because detect or protection from evil will, will keep us safe from it, and B because it's a new monster to add to our bestiary, bestiary, whatever, you, however you pronounce that word. And that is a great feature of the game, as I said. Even if, oh well, fuck you, I forgot about the pit. Even if worse comes to worse, it casts a spell. P-A-A. There it is. Alright, let's cast Protection from Evil. Even if worse comes to worse and we die, we'll have a bunch of new monsters in our bestiary, so someday when I come back to play this game, I'll, I'm, I can't attack it because I'm afraid. I have a spell that fixes my fear, though, don't I? Remove fear. D. It's repelled, it's repelled, it's repelled. It's also... um. Invisible. Interesting to note. I won't know what, what monster this is, so I guess I'm actually wrong about uh, learning or adding it to my bestiary because I can't uh, tell what it is. But letter Q. Drop F. Drop the Mushroom of Confusion. If I go this way, I can avoid the pit. So we remember that on the way back. I should move this off the screen. Sometimes it's annoying to see that hovering uh, in the middle of the screen. It also may give a false indication to players that, hey, you have mouse control on the screen or in this uh, game, and you don't. You hear a door burst open. Oh, there's one up to the north. We didn't uh, rest. We are charging into our potentially gleeful doom. Here comes something. Another Urkai. Well, we can deal with that. Matter of fact, let's see what we know about it now. From 900 feet, so this level, moves at normal speed. Evil creature, 55.64. This sweet, often carries treasure, can hit to attack. It's a generic attacker. We might get up a level before this video ends. 
Hairy mold of major cures will carry it for now. Let's rest. Yeah, we might. It depends on what we meet. We've got about uh, 10 minutes left in this video. I'm trying to be a bit more... Um, I've done the detection spells up here. That's, where I, that's how I found out about, about the quagga, or whatever the hell that was. The thing we're calling a quagga. Uh, something else invisible. Possibly a ghost. Let's protect ourselves from evil right off the bat. It's not a ghost because it's not evil. Let's rest. I know it's not evil because it, uh, it's that it misses you and it didn't say it's repelled. Mold. Violet mold. These guys can paralyze us, but they've been not a threat so far. Let's just hack it apart. End the mold. Down with mold. Giant black bat. Oh, fire spirit. We've uh, possibly dealt with them before. Son of a bitch. Smoke coming from my pack. I don't like that. I don't know if it's evil. What do we know about it? I don't think it is. It's natural, right? Did I see that somewhere? No, I didn't see that. We don't know if it's evil or not. Rather than cast detect or protection from evil, I'll cast the spell that at least gives me protection from flame. P, B, I think it's H. It's funny how you learn those over time. I lost my concentration. Great. P, B, H. No, don't do it if it's going to make me presumptuous. Let's just hack it apart, man, as best we can. I don't want it burning up all my shit. For all I know, it already has. Alright, it's dead. There's a rat of some sort. A giant black rat. That might be the first time we met those. I don't remember, to be honest. Let's rest before all else. Nope. Giant black rat. Let's just make sure there's no more of those coming. We don't have them breeding over here while we sleep. Okay. Most importantly, the prayer books are still here. Those ones we... The scrolls we found, the blue oxymos, where I said it's great to find new scrolls, are still here. He did get two things. The UV or slots are, are gone. I just don't know offhand what. Words of recall are still here. I mean, whatever he got, it's not the... Uh, it's not something I'm so vitally concerned with that I can even recall what I that I owned it. So uh, I guess there, it could be worse. Let's just do a quick search here for the sake of it. Although, if there was anything here, no, there's nothing there. I did a PAG. Um, let's go up here to connect this. Oops, giant white tick. What are you? Red jelly. This PCB is red ass. Fuck. Or not. No, don't. I, I just rested. Did I not? Oh, it hits me. That's why. Something, something fucking hitting me. Whatever it was, I killed it. A tin wand. That's nice. Mushroom of poison. Let's drop that. Gee. Let's just go here, because I know for sure the diagonal I'm on when I'm looking here. Let's rest again. PCB. North. Got it. Rest again. PCB. North. Rest again. PCB. Well, what are you going to do? Rest. PCB. They do take some damage, these guys. What do we know about them, by the way? Not worth that much, either. Cannot be charmed or slept. Good to know. I'm assuming charm is a... Well, either it's a spell we haven't, you know, accessed yet. Or it's like a, a mage-type spell, and we will never get it because it's we're not a mage. We're a, we're a priesty kind of dude. That's the room we started in, I believe. The run key is still not working for me. I can use it in here. Shift, move. But if I use it here... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't shoot me down the hallway as it's supposed to. I'm not sure. I have no explanation for that. I watched another guy playing Moria on YouTube, and it worked fine for him. So whoever you are, dude, consider yourself lucky. There's a skeleton over there. P-A-F, P-A-G, rest. Because it sure don't work for me. All right, let's go deal with that skeleton. Whoa, and gray bat. 
Oops. Bats seem to get a lot of attacks, but there doesn't seem to be anything else terrible to worry about with them so far. I guess there was one of the dragon bats. Certainly we have something to worry about. That black dragon bat remains a, a point of some soreness to me, uh, even all these videos later. This guy's hard to hit. Make sure we're using our sword. We are. P-A-E. Rat. Horrible bunny, even worse. Kill them quickly or don't kill them at all. I'm going to try PCB because that'll envelop them both. Good. I didn't want to risk uh, risk those guys breeding out of control. I don't know if we did a you know PAF and stuff over here. PAG, PAF, PAA, rest. Better safe than sorry. How are we doing for map-wise? Maybe to the south, but the, no, maybe not. Oh, there's some stuff here. Okay. Nope, maybe there's not. <laughs> that was short-lived. Yay, exploration! I think maybe in the southwest corner here... Can we, uh... We're not quite up a level. We're not going down a level yet. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna stick to my plan. That's how we're gonna win this game. As far as I know, there's only one other winning game of Moria on YouTube. I shouldn't say one other. That implies that I'm a winner. And again, the reason I need to keep emphasizing how stupid that notion is is because I will otherwise... I fell in the pit again. I didn't remember. I'll be the... Uh, I'll be recognized for the arrogance inherent. Let's protect ourselves from evil. Uh, in suggesting I was going to win when I clearly am not. If we uh, cut corners... Yeah. So see, we might be able to run far enough to get our uh, mana all the way back up to where we could cast Protection from Evil again. But I think that's unlikely. I probably fell in a pit there, didn't I? And we do risk running into... Uh, how much do we need? PC. I only need 15. Well, maybe. I was going to say, we do risk running into other monsters as we do this and making our situation that much worse. But I'm going to try. Because I don't want him smoking out all my, you know, goods. One more mana, and we will cast Protection from Evil again. If that fails, I think we're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. P. C. E. Good. And now we can take him down with no challenge. Suck it, Fire Giant. Here's a place we haven't explored. Um, let's rest. Um, I'm sure we did we did our detection spells in here. There's also a door there. Bloodshot Eye. Can gaze to blind. Drains mana. They do seem stationary, too. Something I didn't note before. They, does that mean they, they don't deign? Does not deign to chase intruders is how they... How they um, indicate immobility in this immobility oh my god every once in a while there's a word that just defies my tongue immobility immo immobility 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 ah <sighs> what is that orc warrior they were tough at uh, a tough opponent at one point but i don't think they're a threat now We've taken on Urukai. We can take on an Orc Warrior. Where are we going? West, yeah. We're coming up on the 30-minute mark here. Um, I didn't mean to rest. Why the fuck did I even do that? Um, let's go a bit southwest, see if there's any way onward. I'm sure I've done PAG here, but let's try it again. Let's even go to the far left corner of the screen. Maybe that'll... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? We don't need to go to the far left corner of the screen. Although we will go in here and pick this up. Blue mushroom we want because it's unidentified. We want to know uh, what it is. Drop the dagger. Take the blue mushroom. Let's do a PAG.
Nothing here. All right, let's quickly go to the northwest. Try one last uh, bit of uh, scouting out to see if there's anything left on this level to uh, to explore. PCE. Fuck. Okay, rest. Getting hungry. Let's eat some rations of food. Um, shift M. Let's go pure west and try a PAG there. Oh, never mind. We got we got places to explore right here. But we are up on the 30 minute mark. Let's kill off this scruffy looking hobbit. I was gonna I was gonna investigate what it's like. All right, I'm gonna call it here. We're at 30 minutes. Um, we should be getting damned close. Yeah, screw that. Let's uh. Not gonna call it here. Let's level up once, if if it's possible. If we can quickly find a place to explore and kill things, we'll level up once. Unless we're back at the fucking gnats. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna call it here because I don't feel like exploring through the gnats. Um, when we come back, we will go to the northwest. We will level up, presumably. We will then go back to town, identify our stuff. And then we will, in a better than nine minute run, it's going to be a better than nine minute town run next time. And then we'll come back down here and uh, head on down to the next level. All right, we may even go to the next level if we level up during the next video. All right, see ya.